This could very well be what decides the match. Oh, of the oh! Nah, you're taking the bump. You're taking this bump. Get your ass over there. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All oh, my fucking night. All oh, my fucking day. I got this, baby. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sully. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, you read the title right. Episode four. Throw, throw them up. Throw them up. Episode four. It's the horseman, baby. It's horseman country. You can't feel it. You can't smell it. Where Tully at? Technically, I already made episode four. So let me tell you what happened. I don't know if I'm too far from the microphone. I don't know if I'm too like too loud for the microphone. I don't even I don't even know anymore, man. Yeah, the file got corrupted. So let me just break it down for you. I basically agree with the Miz to become one of his boys. And now I just had a TV show with the with Gigi Dolan. I joined the Miz. He had me take over. Up up down down became down down up. Up, I think that's what the show was called with Gigi Dolan. And I'm not gonna lie, that has to be one of the worst fucking chapters I ever fucking played. It was so fucking bad. What's up, dog horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. Fair enough. Okay. So what? Shout out to our truth, by the way, right now. Titan champion. He just won his first WrestleMania. Shout out to him. Got everything: exotic locale, untold riches, once in a lifetime experiences. And everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself would probably be enough to say yes. Yeah. It's kind of fresh right now, or true? Look at the pants. Look at the shirt. Look at the chain. Look at all his piercings. Jesus fucking Christ. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest. But I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people who care for blind dogs. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Right. What the hell's going blind on, man? People and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's gonna know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? Ah! Yeah. I'm sure whatever I'll help you, our truth because... Help someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hmm. What could go wrong? What could go what could go probably wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tire, you could forget to pack your underwear, could run out of gas, but we're taking a plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up, and I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So I think we're good. See you there. Sounds good, truth. R-Truth is a natural treasure. I, was, I just want to point that out for y'all. This man has been around since the Invasion storyline in WWE. Like, think about that. He's former NWA champion, and he just now won a WrestleMania. It's hot as shit in my room right now. I just drink a bunch of energy drinks. It's four in the fucking morning. I'm still talking to you? Bro, what's up? Man. The snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am enacting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. Uh, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> protocol 48? 48. Did, did you just make that up? Yes, the fuck he did. Yes. But as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing Protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. <laughs> How old is our truth? Is he 48? I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. Truth, I swear to fucking God, if you put me in a match where it's like some bullshit for me, 
We're gonna have problems, brother. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out, and this is the thanks I get? Dead ass, yo. You're not the real GM. I can stomp you out right here. Charity isn't about what you get. Let me put some Tims on my character real quick. And first up, you don't give Robert Rude a title shot. You don't give Robert Rude a title shot. I love Robert Rude, man. No, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think this will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. I love our truth. Okay, uh, a shovels match. A shovels match, bitch. Okay. By the way, I think by the time this video will be uploaded, Elijah Steele will be available in the community creations. If you want to download him, go right ahead. I'm going to put the stuff on the screen right now just for y'all. New Titan Tron. Uh, it's a whole new gimmick. I told you. Oh my god, explosions. What's going on? It, the, the devil has become corporate, baby. Inspired by Chris Jericho. This outfit, inspired by Chris Jericho. Um... I'm gonna, I don't know what outfit y'all gonna like, so I'm gonna show this outfit in this video, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use multiple outfits if y'all can, yeah, if y'all wanna download them. Go right ahead, bro. Put them in your universe mode. Do whatever you want to them. You can have them the biggest jobber on your show. I don't, rec I don't recommend that, but if you wanna put them in anywhere in universe mode, this guy is the best. He didn't sell out. I'm just one right now. He, Elijah still didn't sell out. Elijah still, he bought. He bought in. He bought the souls, baby. Look at the boots. He said he bought the souls. The demon is ready. Robert Rude, you're not ready for this work. This is a champion that y'all need. There's no Roman Reigns, no part-timers. He's here to perform for y'all. Y'all should be thanking me. By the way, he's a heel, by the way, now. Oh, get the fuck up. I should have cut him in half with that. Jesus Christ. Well, X Division on the shovel. Oh shit. Ref, ref, yo get his ass. He crying like a bitch. <laughs> Hell is this? Oh Jesus! Alright. Let's get this over with. Bam! Fuck you! I'm going for the brain buster. Brain buster! Don't reverse. Oh, you fucking reversed. No! Oh! Shining Wizard! I don't think I made a name for that. Oh, cool. Oh, kick to the knee. Super kick. <laughs> kick to the knee. Super kick combo is crazy. The fans are losing their mind. Super kick is gonna end the match. Shout out to Shawn Michaels. Shout out to Shawn Michaels. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho's sweet chin music was better. It's, I told you, it's better. Well, I just still retains the championship, but maybe not long. Let's see what's going to happen later on tonight while R Truth is the GM for the night. R Truth, what are you doing? Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. You have a suit? Where the fuck you get a suit from? And why is it so clean? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? Did you forget yours? I might have meant the suit you're wearing. Uh, I just skipped all over what you're talking about, brother. My oh, fault. This? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concepts. One tip was dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. What? I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on. So I could look more authoritative. Oh, that is MVP suit. MVP said it didn't fit him too well. So he didn't mind if I borrowed it. What do you think? That I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. Facts. Yo, tell him what's up. 
A lot of still really is like me. I'm, I'll tell you what, what it really is. r truth, I love you, but at the same time, I shouldn't have gone on this trip. I am the WWE Undisputed Universal Champion. I shouldn't be here. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. This is a nightmare. Ah, Cody Rhodes. That's the spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space. Just like two astronauts. Except there will be gravity. Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM, I don't want anyone out there thinking I've suspended gravity and they can't fall. You can. And in this match, those falls will count anywhere. Got it? Falls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. Maybe someday. What the fuck is even SmackDown right now? God damn it. These motherfuckers are getting farther and farther away from me. Please come over here. Our truth has me doing stupid shit. I'm about to put my hands on them. Order. Execute 66. Smack to the chest. Enzer Gurry kicked to Chad Gable. Butterfly suplex. And in every corner of this arena. I'm really like what they're doing with Chad Gable right now too in WWE. The heel run, that is, this is gonna fill families, bro. This is gonna feed families. We're gonna get Perk Angle 2.0 with Chad. I'm loving it. Just give him the belt. I know he's not gonna lose the belt as the time is being recorded. It's gonna be a triple threat match with him, Sammy, and Bronson Reed. I know that match is about to fucking eat. Ooh, look at the combination. Ooh. So chatting, chatting on win that time, but then I think they're really gonna save until like they go on one-on-one -on -one match against each other. Then that's when Chad's gonna win. Probably he's gonna cheat the win. Or not. I'd rather not have Chad cheat the win. I actually do want him to make Sammy tap. Like putting him in like a submission, putting him in the ankle lock and just make him tap. Not just the regular ankle lock either. I want him to do the three minute. How did he bled on the floor that way? Yeah, I want to try to do a three-minute hold. You know, when Kurt Angle, like, dropped down the straps, get the submission, get the ankle lock, he sits down with them, he going, got you for three minutes. That's when you know, you. that's when you know that match about to end quick as hell. And let it sink in, too. Let it, like, that's how I like it when Kurt Angle does that. He sits it in for, like, fucking more than three minutes, like, five minutes in a match, and boom, it's over. Because you're not going anywhere. He did the same thing to Hulk Hogan, did the same thing to Undertaker. Chad Gable going for a suplex to the floor. Brain Buster! Me took my finisher. I gotta sell my move. I gotta sell my move. I had to sell my move. I had to sell it a little bit. I got to. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Buckle bomb! You better do the ankle lock on me. Get away. Oh, my God. Capo kick. Let me get up here. Whoa! This match is already gas right now. Oh, you going for the brain buster reverse by Chad Gable? Exploder? Sling blade. No telling what's underneath. Oh, there's a table. Oh shit. We want tables. Take it from me. We want tables. Oh shit. Oh shit. German suplexes by Chad Gable. Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, one more. God. Oh, that was his finisher. Shit. Oh. What's he going for here? I don't know how much he has left in the tank, but he's got enough for this. This could very well be what decides the match. Oh, of the. Exhibiting guts and This is awesome. This is awesome. But I just still going for the cutter on the floor. One, two, three. What a way to end the match. Buckle bomb in the corner. In the arcade. Oh, I wish they showed the table spot. That was a really good table spot.
And yes, my camera's over here now. Don't be confused. Don't get distracted. Daddy's home. That was terrible lyrics. But let, me, let me sing that again. Daddy's home. All right, hopefully this is the last. Oh, we're gonna face him. He, we're gonna face our truth. Come on, say it. Great match out there, Shield. Champ. Can you believe just a few hours ago there were people saying I wasn't suited to be a GM? Yeah, it was me. Yes, people like me. And Thank you, me. Fuck. I agree. That's why I took the suit off. Turns out being a GM is pretty tedious. It's more tedious? logistics, and those are my third least favorite kind of sticks. But while I was bored in my office, I was watching you out there, and I was thinking that you look pretty tired. I wonder why. Probably because of the two title matches. Yes. There's no way to know for sure. Anyway, I figured you being dead tired might mean this is my best chance to beat a dead horse. And since I'm in charge and there's no audience, I'm taking you on in a 24-7 style match for the title. Starting right now. Well, not literally right now, but in a few minutes backstage. See you there. Sled dogs will take two shakes of a hug. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, get your ass over here. Stop tweeting and get your ass over here. I'm throwing him through that. <laughs> I'm throwing him through that big ass fucking light. Come here. This is what you're gonna get. This is what you get for fucking doing bullshit all night. Yeah, you're dying. <laughs> I'm killing you. Rest in peace, bozo. Nah, you're taking the bump. You're taking this bump. Oh Get your ass over there! Get your ass over here. No! I'm gonna take this bump. Oh, Jesus. Kill him. Ah! Why is it like Byron's actually was trying to nut there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Please. Please. Please! Oh! Yeah. Back and forth here. Both men took giant bumps. Oh, yeah? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All in my fucking night. All in my fucking day. I got this, baby. I'm the champion. Super kick. Oh. 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 Oh, no. That's it. I'm gonna kill him on the concrete. God! Shit! It's over. One, two, three. I, I just killed him. Well, that's that for that storyline. That was fun. So, R2 is officially dead in my rise. He's never coming back Um, from yours truly. But I think this is where I'm gonna call the end for the episode. If you guys did enjoy it and you wanna see more, y'all already know what we gotta do. If you wanna see episode five, just leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, if you wanna download Elijah Steele himself, I'm pretty sure by the time this video will be made and uploaded, I will have him at Community Creations. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace.